In this video, we are going to derive our first kinematic equation. And if you saw the last video, it's going to be based on the following two axiomatic equations. So this is equation number one, if you remember, and this is going to be equation number two. These are just labels. They don't have anything to do with the calculation of the equation themselves. So what we want to do is we want to take our average velocity here and our average velocity here. We want to get rid of those two. And so we get rid of those two by just substituting one equation into the other one. Okay. Um, so how do you do that? Well, let's, we're just going to take this velocity right here and we're going to put it, oh, we're going to swap it with this one. And so what am I really saying? I'm really saying this one. This, this is really what I should say. This is going to go in place of that. Okay. And it's because they're equal. So let me just back this up a little bit just to be clear. We're going to take the displacement in x over time. And since it's just the average velocity in the x direction, we're going to put it into this um, equation. There we have our first kinematic equation. And we're just going to label this one equation number 4. If it's our first kinematic equation, we can rewrite this equation as xf minus x initial equals to the sum of the velocities times time divided by 2. It's the same equation as number 4. We just took time uh, onto the other side. Now, I want you to take note that in this equation, if we want to solve for the displacement in the x direction, and xf minus x0 is a displacement. We don't need acceleration. All we need to know is our initial velocity, our final velocity, and the time. Very important.